Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is another tour of a world. This was built by Robin Hood, or the Earl of Loxley, uh, who's the person who's going to be giving me this tour. Uh, although he did have some help from his friends that I'll give a shout out to in a minute. Uh, here's a list of some of the stuff that he's built. There's a uh, Harry Potter's Quidditch pitch, uh, the Eden Project, which is like a massive greenhouse, a massive Walmart, Colosseum, uh, the spaceship from Futurama, a haunted house floating in the sky near quidditch and all i just fell in the water and uh, here's a list of people that are banned so um i don't want to give them too much of a shout out they don't deserve attention they obviously did something bad and here we go here is the earl of loxley as you can see properly dressed up like robin hood with a bow and arrow and uh, i guess these are these are his friends these are uh, people that helped out building the world um yeah i'm going to give a quick shout out to them do i recognize anyone is there anyone i've seen before um, nope, nope, uh, live, love, game, um, is that, is that someone's game attack? That's a cool game attack, um, but yeah, I don't know any of these people, but these are basically, uh, people that helped out with this world, and like all my tours, I don't know too much about the world, uh, this guy literally messaged me on, uh, on YouTube today and said, check out my world, and I had a bit of spare time, so I said, okay, and I've joined, I've not even spoke to him in a party, because, um, he said he's quite private, and he doesn't like, uh, to talk in parties, we've just been messaging each other, so, I'm like you, I, am. Um, uh, completely clueless uh, as to what I'm going to be seeing in this tour. And he did actually send me a message saying uh, he's not going to save, so feel free to break stuff, which is quite good fun. Uh, established on October the 12th, 2012, uh, by Flickers Fluke? Flickers Fluke, something like that. Uh, was this is like a, like a fire station here? And uh, I, I guess some of it's kind of like a like a realistic looking city with things like the fire station but you can just randomly see in the background things like those massive domes and these towers which is a bit more crazy and fantasy and meat there's a massive building made out of meat and i never realized how much neverrack does actually look like milk oh, i'm not uh, uh, like meat meat la, 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 like meat <laughs> i'm never going to look at neverrack the same now oh, here we go is this like a like some sort of fast food place i need to get some money i need to i need to give myself an allowance i'm allowed to spend uh um, let's say, let's be quite generous. I'm allowed to spend 17 pieces of gold throughout this tour and whatever I want. And what's this thing here? What does this redstone do? Is this all to shut that flap? <laughs> That's the most elaborate redstone I've ever seen. I think this is actually uh, supposed to be blood on the floor and there's a piece of cow or something dangling from the ceiling. <laughs> Looks a bit more like candy floss to be fair. I guess this is the refrigerator. And why is there a bed in here? Who sleeps in here? Imagine sleeping in a fridge full of dead dangling cows. That doesn't sound very nice at all. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe that's some sort of, like, slaughterhouse slash restaurant or something. Um, lovely. What a, what a grand way to start the tour. I get lulled in with promises of Quidditch pictures, then I get taken to a meat locker. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I like the fact the roads are made out of obsidian. It does make quite a nice change from black wall. What's this? Uh, what door? Is there a hidden door? Is there a hidden door somewhere? Um, oh, here's the door. <laughs> I love it. I love quirky stuff like that. Oh, what's down here then? Oh, this, this is sneaky. Am I, am I allowed down here? I feel like I, like I shouldn't be able to. Uh, admission 10... C? <laughs> drop below. Um, what, what, I have to drop the money down here, do I? I don't have to drop down 10, do I? Then I'd only have 7 left. Uh, is that going to go to like a pressure pad or something? Um, did he just pick up my money? Oh, I think it's supposed to just be I drop down below rather than we drop the money down below. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, put your money here and then the door opens. I think it's all a big scam. What is this place? Is this just like a, a mine or something? Or oh, there's some beds here. Uh... <laughs> Oops, uh, I'm not going to read that second word. <laughs> Oops, carp, it says. Um, right, what is this place? Is this just like a like a random little cave? There's a few broken ladders. <laughs> no worries, I've got my jetpack on so I can fly up. Um, okay, I guess he's going to explain what this is. I don't remember what's below ground, lol. Okay, we'll go on an adventure. We're going to go and explore. Um, is this it? Is this the, all there is down here? Okay, well, I suppose what I can do while I'm down here is I'm going to stampy it. 
Uh, if you don't know what stamping, it's basically when you go into someone's world and hide cake somewhere, and there's no way he's going to find that cake. <laughs> Until he watches this video back, there's no way he's going to find that cake. And oh look, he put down water for me to swim up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so what you've what you got to do if you want to stampy someone's world, uh, stampy someone's world even, uh, just go into their world and hide cake around the place. And then, yeah, hopefully they'll find it like ages after you've left and they'll be like, why is there cake in this weird place? And so I'm going to be trying to do that as much as I can throughout this uh, Let's Play, just hiding cake around the place just for the fun of it. Got to keep myself entertained, don't I? And I like this building. Uh, what, what's this? Can we can we go in this building? Or are we just running past it? I want to go in there. I want to go in the big tower. And uh, maybe we're going to go in there later on. Where's he gone? Robin Hood! <laughs> Robin Hood, where have you ran off to? Has he flown up? Oh, here he is. He, he hasn't gone far. Uh, what's this? Uh, blacksmith's forge. Oh, can I have some sort of weapon or something? Can can you make me a sword or something? Nope. Okay. No worries. Moving on. Is this a jacuzzi? <laughs> a blacksmith's jacuzzi? After a hard day's work, he comes and has a, a nice little rest in there. Are we going like up like a massive tree? It's like a huge palm tree. A lot of people have built huge trees in their worlds, but they all kind of look the same. They're just like a big ball of like leaves with vines coming down. It's kind of cool that he's done a massive palm tree with a blacksmith's in the middle of it. <laughs> I guess we I guess we're gonna pretend to be a monkey and climb up here, are we? Uh, I had to cheat a little bit and fly. I wish you could climb vines. Uh, as I'm recording this video, we haven't had the update yet where you can climb vines, so I have to do it the old-fashioned way. And this is a nicer place to sleep. This is nicer than that meat locker, and I guess this is uh, the way you're supposed to come up. Quite a nice view. And oh, oh, he's off again. He's off. What's this? What material is that? Oh, is that mushroom, I think? Is that mushroom? Oh, yes, it's a massive mushroom on this tree. I love it. I love how random and crazy all this stuff is. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It looks like a cool place to hang out. You can imagine chilling out here with a buddy, watching the sun go down. Lovely. Right, Robin Hood, where are we going? Where are we going next? Um, I, I guess we're going to have a, a look at some of these palm trees. Pretty snazzy. And the sun is actually going down now. I don't want, might have been nice to spend some time up there watching, watching the sun go down. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go around some of these minecart. There seems to be uh, minecart tracks leading around the entire city. And is that like their docking bay? Is that where they all uh, hang out when they're not being used? Are we going in one? Are we riding it? I'm not sure. I think he's thinking about it. Are we going in it? Um, oh, what does this say here? Uh, to Coliseum, Walmart, and private homes. Is that, is that where we're off to? Uh, where, where's the button? Yep, we're off. We're going. Let's go to the Coliseum, Walmart, and private homes then. Did I just smash into that wall as well? <laughs> I need to get health and safety involved. We can see another tower. Oh, look, they're building the tower. There's like a crane there still building it. Um, there, there's the Walmart, I guess. We're probably going to go there first. There's the Coliseum. Oh, we've, we've whizzed round again. Okay, so we got the Coliseum there. Uh, there's the Walmart. And I guess there's going to be some private homes around here as well somewhere. Uh, but to the Walmart first. Well, I've, I've got my 17 gold, uh, so I guess going to the big old shop uh, would be a place, a uh, good place to go. I know I've only got 16 now. I wasted some. And oh, there's a doggy. Is it a wild dog? It is. I want it. I want it. Give me dog. Give me dog. Give me dog. Oh, no, don't kill it. Why did you kill the dog, Robin Hood? <laughs> You're supposed to be good, Robin Hood. Oh, I did a dog for the tour. Oh, well. I, I guess I'll just go around by myself without a dog. And this is quite a cool Walmart. I know. Oh dear. <laughs> Looks like the uh, the automatic doors didn't like me for some reason. And look at that! Do they have them in Walmarts in real life? Is that supposed to be a... Like a reindeer or something? What are those things? Are they like antlers? A big goofy face there? <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, well, what can we buy? Uh, fresh range, 100% farm fresh organic goose eggs. <laughs> I didn't know they were goose eggs. Uh, ostrich eggs. Uh, oh, pork chops. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, raw pork chops, uh, cooked to order. Cocoa beans. We have they just got every different item and just put it in a chest and like rid it on here. Uh, a fishing rod. Can you get fishing rods from Walmart? I think you can. I think you can literally buy anything from Walmart. And oh, there's some music here. Oh, they haven't got a very good selection of songs. Is there any more here? Oh, <laughs> just a load of jukeboxes. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's nice that they've actually filled in all the stock. Like, normally in shops, people just put bookshelves everywhere, and they go, like, that'll do. That will sort of count as anything. It's nice that they've, like, 
gone to the effort of filling it all in. And this is the section where you can get dirt, flowers, feathers, and obsidian. This is the dirt, flowers, feathers, and obsidian section. I'm pretty sure they don't have that in Walmart. And more beds. I guess this is where we can go and uh, try out some of the beds. We might actually have a nap in a minute uh, before we go outside because it is night time now. And there's a, a minecart track that goes underneath. Is that where they go to restock? Um, this is where you can buy your doors? Do they sell doors at Walmart? Uh, I'm not actually sure. And I kind of want to go up there. There seems to be like a, a higher up bit over here somewhere. I kind of want to investigate. Is that like a cafe or something up there? How do I even get up there? Uh, let, let me try going up here. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a, a ladder to nowhere here. I'm just going to fly over here and see what this is. Um, is this like a kitchen or something? I don't know. I've, I've never been to a Walmart in real life. We have Asda in the UK, which is kind of kind of the same thing, but not really. And I don't think I can actually get up there without flying. And here we go. The roof of Walmart. What a rebel I am from jumping around up here. <laughs> uh, I wish Walmarts were like this in real life. Just shops in general. They could do have been a bit more exciting. And this doesn't seem safe. You want to make sure you shut these behind you as you're walking around. <laughs> And what's it? Is this like a like a clock tower or something along those lines? Ooh, what was that? Oh, these are like light switches. They're not really light switches though, because because they're always on. When you pull it, they just sort of dangle down a little bit more and tall people will bang their heads. I love how random it is. There's just things everywhere. My grass, golden grass, don't touch. Um, okay, well, I think it's it's seen better days anyway, mate, to be fair. Um, right, where, where are we off to? Look, there's just stuff everywhere, like pistons and furnaces and dispensers and paintings. It's it's such like a crazy like combination of items all just thrown together. And uh, oh, is this how we get down? Is this the, the way down? Let's try and land in that water and have a softer landing. There we go. I got all wet, but at least I haven't broken my legs is the, is the way to look at it. <laughs> all right, where, where have you gone? Robin Hood, don't run away from me. Bunch more redstone here. What does this do? What was that? Is that like some sort of crusher? It look it looks like it's some sort of automated farm thing. Like you get a lot of stuff like that where they do it to automatically um uh, like gather wheat and stuff like that. But uh, I don't really know what this does. It kind of seems just to be slamming the uh the the, the sand around. <laughs> oh well. I didn't know I actually dropped off uh, sticky piston sand. Uh, that could be useful for redstone in the future. And hopefully this isn't too dark for you. Um, I, I think it should be okay. It's just about not too dark for me, so it should be okay to you. And oh, I want to go to the Colosseum. What's this place here? Uh, my old gamer tag. Uh, established October 18th, 2012 uh, by Golden Haze. So Golden Haze is Robin Hood or Robin of Loxley. Um, but that's just his old gamer tag. Oh, and this is awesome. <laughs> Do you think they got enough glowstone? I was there worried about it being too dark. I suppose this place should be okay for you. <laughs> this is kind of very Greek style, you know? I feel like it could be in Athens or something. It looks really awesome. And I actually know that, uh, probably not this building, but I know that uh, a decent portion of this world was actually built before creative mode. Um, obviously, quite a lot of the, the bigger buildings and things built out of diamonds and gold and stuff. You can assume uh, he did it using creative mode, but uh, there's quite a lot of this stuff which was built uh, in survival mode. And uh, I suppose that's kind of the stuff you're always going to be most proud of. There's just something about gathering the materials yourself and not being able to fly that just makes, I don't know, just the buildings a bit more rewarding. Even though, like, for someone coming into the world, they might not look as dramatic. When you're gone and had to cut down every tree to make the wood and I don't know like go mining to get all of the iron and build tools and stuff and like build your scaffolding as you're building it I don't know when you do it like that it's just I don't know it's just much better when you finally finish it and look back you can go oh, I built that I built that by hand without having to have superpowers and flying around and being able to summon up any block at my will you know Basically, creative mode turns you into a superhero. And why are we going to the Colosseum? Come on, the Colosseum's right here. I mean, I suppose I should follow him. I want to go to the Colosseum. What does this say? Uh, caution. <clears throat> Clearance 15 feet. Oh, don't worry. I'm not 15 feet tall. I'm a lot shorter than that. I'm not a very tall cat. I suppose that's just for buses and trucks that drive around. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Yeah, P PC is thousand times better. Um, I guess this is like in like the middle of a conversation they were having with someone, maybe an argument about what's better, PC or Xbox. <laughs> Seems funny that they're saying how much better PC is while playing on Xbox. <laughs> then again, I, I do like both. 
I mean, I'm always going to be an Xbox person because that's what I played first and, and I like playing on my TV and stuff, but uh, I don't I mean, to be honest, PC probably is better. I mean, you can just do more stuff. I mean, I like the Xbox because it's simpler and my friends are on Xbox, but um, anyway, that doesn't even matter. Why am I talking about that? Here we are in this massive Colosseum, and I guess these are the people that you're fighting, Claws. Like, are these, like, supposed to be, like, mythical creatures or something? Go on, go on, Robin Hood. <laughs> sort them out. How do you make training dummies? Too many mountains. Oh, mountains. <laughs> um, okay, well, this is kind of awesome. I kind of like that these signs have been left here. It's just kind of glimpses of conversations that he must have had in the past with, like, different people. <laughs> and I'm just going to quickly climb up here and just sort of uh, see what there is. And, oh, no, why am I so bad at ladders? <laughs> it's such a simple thing. Why can't I just climb ladders? And here we go. This is this is the view that all of the, the people will get while watching the battles. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see a fight now. This would be quite a cool uh, PvP arena. Like, if they made it so that gate could actually open... Maybe do something clever with pistons and redstones that I wouldn't understand about. And make it so like there's a big crowd here all cheering and that. And by big crowd, I mean the six people that would be able to join to watch the fight. <laughs> because you can only have eight people in a game. I don't know, you can maybe fill it up with dogs and farm animals. They can they can cheer on. The sheep can bar on to hopefully get their team to victory or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, where, where are we going? I should probably actually show you the map. I've, I haven't really looked at it yet. You can see that... Uh, quite a lot of the world is filled in and uh, what does this say uh, credit for original design goes to hairy jackass established on January the 31st 2011 uh, by golden hay so I guess the uh, the original design was by hairy jackass <laughs> what a lovely game attack and another wild dog don't kill it no don't kill it no 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 don't please please don't kill it please don't kill it oh the dog's going for him no why are you killing dogs you're supposed to be good Robin Hood he's just going round murdering Murdering dogs. What happened to stealing from the rich and giving to the poor? That, that, that's what you're supposed to be remembered as, not as the, the mongrel murderer. I don't appreciate that. I wanted a dog. That was two opportunities to get a puppy wasted there by Robin Hood. Right, next time I see an animal, I'm just going to dive straight for it. Before he can get his bow and arrow out, I'm just going to charge for it and just throw bones down its mouth and try and make it follow me. Anyway, where, where are we heading off to now? Um, are these the private homes, I guess? That's the other place it said was round here. And I guess these are supposed to be hedges, I suppose. Like, you know, the really well-maintained trimmed hedges. I don't know why they use green wool rather than the leaf blocks. Um, there seems to be a nice swimming pool in the front here. Um, there seems to be a few lily pads in the swimming pool. Maybe uh, it needs a clean out, but it means I can probably jump across it. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I can make that? I reckon so. Up, up there. Easy peasy. Oh, and a nice jacuzzi. Oh, and it's heated as well, with lava, just like real jacuzzis. That's how they're they're really heated in real life, with lava. Anyway, I'll, I'll turn that back off. There's a nice little bar here. Oh, there's a changing room. Oh, we can, we can go get changed in here, I guess. Um, What can we change into? Oh, it's just a lot of potions. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a very private changing room, is there? Like, can you see that from this side? Oh, it's kind of weird. You can't really see in very well, but you can see out really well. Um, this is kind of weird. Imagine coming in here to get changed and everyone can look in at you. I think I'm going to stay as I am. Naked. <laughs> okay, well, moving on. We haven't actually gone into the, the actual house yet. I kind of got sidetracked by the swimming pool. It's kind of a cool design. It kind of looks like, like a cookie or something. I can imagine this being like the, the witch house that Hansel and Gretel went to. <laughs> Oh, this looks really awesome, though. I, I do like the um the, the sandstone and and the brown wall. looks looks quite cool together. Looks a bit like an Oreo or something. Um. Okay. So where do we go? It doesn't seem to be completely built in here. There's a bit of a, a greenhouse just sort of tagged onto the side uh, with some flowers and some wheat and cactuses and stuff. And um, there's a top floor up here. Maybe a balcony or something? Um, oh no, just a, another bed. Here we go. Here's kind of a balcony. It's not a very safe balcony. Uh, there's no uh, fences or anything to, to stop you falling off. So uh, I'm going to get away from there before I do fall off. I haven't got the best balance. And uh, let's go onto the roof, shall we? Or is he not letting me? I don't know if he was opening it or shutting it there. Right, here we go to the roof of the building. We can see they're down into the greenhouse. Uh, I won't walk on there because I don't want to smudge it. And oh, is this a secret place? Oh, it's a secret little attic here. I can hang out above the chandelier. I love it. I love these really quirky worlds. Like, there's a lot of worlds that you go to, 
and everything will be completely symmetrical and the dimensions will be perfect and they've already spent a lot of time like designing it and making it all perfect but I rather like kind of quirky crazy worlds full of little secret areas like that hidden door and stuff. It's just more exciting to explore and uh, while Robin Hood isn't looking I'm going to quickly hide some cake down here and stampy his world for the second time. Okay my challenge uh, throughout this tour is to do 10 stampies uh, to put down cake 10 times without him noticing any of the times that is what my challenge will be so uh, I've done it twice so far so I've got to stampy eight more times throughout this video and the difficulty isn't the fact that he might see me the difficulty is the fact that I always forget to do it until like the last minute then shove down a load of cake uh, anyway moving on with the tour and wow look at that there's a massive ice castle over here Ah, oh, that's really cool, doesn't it? Uh, let's go into the ice castle. Let's let's do some ice skating in the castle. <laughs> I don't know how well uh, defendable it is. I mean, they traditionally build castles out of stone because stone is pretty tough, you know. I feel like I could siege that castle with just I don't know, like a flamethrower or even like a a big match, you know. <laughs> or, or just wait until the midday sun for it to melt, and then I could go and siege it. And what's all this stuff? Hi, I am a sign. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sign. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, let's give it a friend, shall we? Um, let's put another sign next to it and say, um, Hi, um, I am friends with... I am the sign's friend? That would do, that would do. I am uh, the... Sorry, I don't have a keyboard, so I'm going to type really slow. The sign's... Friend. I think I'm going to spell it like that, as in friend rather than friend. <laughs> and probably Robin Hood will be like, oh my god, he doesn't even know how to spell friend, what an idiot. <laughs> who's, who's this stampy cat I got going around my tour? Hi, I am the sign, the, the sign's friend. And what's this place here? Are these like all of the different blocks you can place? It kind of reminds me a bit of my, um, my inspiration room where I built all the walls uh, out of all of the different blocks you can place. But he's kind of gone one further and put down like saplings and cobwebs and doors and everything so I suppose that if he is deciding what he wants to build out of then he could uh, come here and just sort of have a look around uh, sadly though uh, I am gonna have to end the video here because we are running out of time but don't worry don't fret that isn't the end of the tour of this world uh, there'll be a link in the description to part number two once it's online uh, so we can carry on uh, looking around Robin Hood's kingdom <laughs> uh, but sadly as I said that is the end of this video so I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye